I'm doing a crazy giveaway. I'm giving away two $50 bonds and two rare boxes to two giveaway winners. All you have to do is smash like button, comment your name, and subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into it. This HD quality RSPS is about to shock you. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new video on the RuneScape original channel. Today, we are on Ethereal RSPS. Ethereal is the next big OSRS server. It has loads of different content ranging from all the normal old school Runescape content like COX raids, TOB, except they've actually customized it to look 10 times better and of course added their own custom content. And so in today's video, I decided to go ahead and do you guys a bit of a tour, show you guys some of their key highlights, and of course, make sure you guys see why I prefer Ethereal over any other OSRS RSPS. Now, when you first log into Ethereal, you're going to arrive at this home area. And of course, you're going to be met with the bank as well as their fully working Grand Exchange. Through this, you can search items, search for players, or just see what is currently on the market. You then are able to see all of their skilling areas because they have a custom skilling area located within the home area. You can mine, smelt, do some woodcutting, do thieving, construction, and basically every skill in the game. And whenever you're ready, you're also going to be able to see their shops. In the shops, you're going to find the shop assistant, the mage, melee, and range armor stores, which is really, really nice. Now, in addition to all of this, Ethereal also has plenty of different teleports, and there are multiple ways to teleport on the server, but one of the best teleportation ways is actually in the interface. They have a T right here, you want to click on it, and it's going to show up, and basically you're going to have all your teleports, city, dungeons, training teleports, like eminent crabs, apatol, bandits, chickens, cows, basically everything, mini games, wilderness tellies, skilling tellies, boss tellies, and of course miscellaneous teleport. I've actually decided I want to do a bit of forecast and we actually are carrying the artisan bow which is an amazing thing which is going to help me destroy this forecast real quick. But have a look at the GFX guys, the quality of the server is so nice, it is HD and looks amazing. Alright so I just died guys and I lost my item so I'm going to do a real quick telly back and try and get my stuff or you can go all the way to this search magical chest and of course pick up your loot you can of course throw them in the trash or you can pay some cash in this case 5 million to get them all back in my inventory i have a couple of rare boxes and we're going to be opening every single one of them to see exactly what we can get starting off with this juicy first one right here we get an anti santa boots now of course every single item we get here is a rare and is going to be worth quite a significant amount oh my god guys such a juicy freaking purple part Hot, and it does freaking announce it as well all right so i actually ended up dying as you guys seen earlier and it's time to actually retrieve my items very easy you just have to go ahead and put this money into the death coffer would you like to deposit yes i would and it tells you how much then once you're done that you can actually unlock and now retrieve whatever you'd like back to the opening for rare boxes we actually have eight more boxes that we're going to open hopefully we get another extreme rare and we get a skeleton skirt holy freaking moly another black party count and it actually tells you the stats all you have to do is hover over any weapon or armor and it's going to tell you the magic bonuses attack bonuses defense bonuses pretty much everything now crafting is actually extremely cool on ethereal it's very simple as well you actually have the option to get these recipe scrolls which are in this case a ring of wealth eye recipe and if you go ahead and read it it actually tells you exactly what the requirements are in this case 25 rings of wealth 50 uncut dragon stands and 250 gold bars the secret rate is a hundred percent and then once you've actually obtained all these items you can just click on it once again read and this time you can click yes and it will say will consume this scroll if successful and there we go we have just made a ring of wealth i and now if you'd like to disable or enable some features because the ring up wealth i actually has some really cool things it tells you for example auto collect coins is disabled and then auto collect revenants ether is disabled as well if you want to enable them or disable them you can do that they've also added in a brand new scroll called the ava spirit perk which is really really good of course it is currently about to get activated all you have to do is click to continue and then click yes and it will be good to go and what's really nice, if you want to see the perks that you have or that you want, all you have to do is go to your quest app perks. And then it tells you all the PVM perks. It tells you I have currently enabled Ava Spirit. And if you'd like to know information, it basically says 
acts as a permanent Avis device for saving ammunition, you will also have a higher chance of saving ammunition. But of course, there's plenty of skilling perks and activity perks, just a ton of things that I would recommend you guys grind for when you hop in game. They actually have a really cool boss called the Rainbound Banner Behemoth. And of course, as you guys can see, we're about to give this guy a freaking shot, and I currently have some luck enhancers as well. Now, those luck enhancers work specifically for the behemoth, and if you're wondering what these can drop, because they're actually so OP, all you have to do is right-click an NPC and click on examine, and it's going to show you basically all of the drops. It's kind of hard right now that I'm in combat, but hopefully now that I have these luck enhancers, I'll be able to get some juicy profit. Oh no, I just freaking died, man. And we are back for round two. Oh my god, I died again. Honestly though, that boss has to be by far the most fun thing that I've done on Ethereal. And the best part about it is that it's custom written like all of the other content on Ethereal. Ethereal also has fully working achievement diaries. And as you guys can see, if you go to Ardo again, it has them listed by Easy, Medium, Hard, Elite, Master, and even Miscellaneous. Honestly, it looks so, so nice and clean. They have a fully working collections lock for basically every single thing and even a complete combat task completed section. For example, the easy tier here, it says tasks completed, boss kills, all of that. Now that I've given you guys a sneak peek of Ethereal in game, let's jump right onto their Discord and have a quick look at that. All right, guys, we have just arrived at their official Discord, the Ethereal RSPS open beta server Discord. And here it is, guys. There are so many things I want to talk about. Number one, guys, they have officially released their launch date, and that is for July 1st. July 1st, 2022 is exactly when this server is going to release. So expect a huge huge launch with thousands of players not thousands but maybe hundreds of players online on a daily basis hopefully thousands that being said they're also hosting plenty of official launch events things like referral competitions right here they're also hosting launch competitions and plenty of activities the day of so once again make sure you are online july 1st and of course there's going to be plenty of mass boss events that are going to be allowing you to obtain osr sgp as a reward they're also hosting consistent giveaway events in their Discord, so just make sure you guys go ahead, hop on so you can know exactly what's going on. And of course, the most important thing is that they are constantly updating the server, doing almost daily updates to just make it a lot better. Look at all the updates they've added, just tons and tons, and you guys can see exactly what they've done if you have a look and join their Discord. You can also know more about what's going on by hopping onto the website Ethereal PS, which is going to be linked in the description as well. And of course, heading all the way to their forums. Of course, they also have an update section right here, which is going to tell you all the latest updates. But it's just a really easy and cool way. In addition to their Discord that's most active, you have the forums. All right, so the battle has now begun. I'm going to venge and let's do a quick pot up right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that would have been a nice spec right there, but it didn't work out the way I thought it would. Boom. But the nice thing is that you can actually 2E and it works like perfectly normal okay come on nope nope not gonna get me like that okay now it again i'm overeating like crazy freaking dismantled it oh that was like what okay that freaking what the heck is going on here boys why am i getting dropped right now that would have been a good time to spec what am i doing what am i doing come on i'm gonna overeat just so i can do everything proper right now okay well he's gonna Get ahead. Dang, man. What is going on? Okay, eat. Get him with the spec. Ooh, and good fight. I told you guys the winner is always me. I'm the best PKer in the game, so you don't want to challenge me to a PvP match. But this is actually so much fun, and the quality just makes you actually enjoy the game a lot better. All right, the fight is going to start the second round. It's so freaking exciting because the winner actually gets a freaking bond, boys. All right, come on, come on. I think I oh, should I, I'll drop it. Oh, that wasn't good, but that that could have been a death right there. That could have been a death penalty. He risked it too much, boys. Okay, come on, pot up again. Pot up, my friend. Freaking spec him. Oh, I hit a freaking zero. I hit a zero. Oh my. Okay, that is not good. Now I'm out of two specs. He's still got a spec in the game. Give me a nice 43 right there. Okay. Ooh, give me a nice big one. Ooh, that's not that good. 
Come on, give me another one. So now basically there's two options that I'm trying to do. I'm either trying to make him run out of food real quickly, or uh, I gotta just try and combo stat bash him right there. He's gonna spec. I kind of expected it, so that was good. Oh my god, boys. He is hitting hard as hell. And why are his hits like that? What the heck is going on? Oh my freaking god, GG. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. It was so freaking fun. Make sure you guys do join Ethereal using the links below, and I'll see you next time.